John Meredith has found a way to avoid having his colleagues kick him out of the Red Chamber. It came in the form of a one-page letter written on his Senate stationery. Meredith doesn't use the word resignation, writing only, It is my hope that my absence from the Senate will allow senators to focus on their good work. This is very hard on him. He's accepted responsibility for this, but this is a, a major uh, concession, if I could use that phrase, to step down from the Senate. Meredith's letter goes on to say that the upper chamber is more important than his moral failings. Those moral failings were detailed in a report two months ago by the Senate ethics officer. It described Meredith as initiating a sexual relationship with a girl, knowing that she was only 16, and using his position of power to lure the vulnerable teen. The Ethics Committee recommended last week that the 52-year-old be kicked out of the Senate. As I say, good riddance to him. As a woman, I could not support him anymore. And the message that is crystal clear is that the Senate won't tolerate this type of behavior uh, going further. I deeply regret this. Meredith is facing two other ethics investigations. Those investigations are now permanently suspended unless the Ethics Committee requests they continue. When he turns 60, the now 52-year-old Meredith will receive a $24,000 annual pension for the rest of his life. I think that the Senate should be looking at what can and should be done to make sure that, uh, that he doesn't get that pension for the rest of his life, given everything that's happened. Meredith's lawyer says that shouldn't happen. There's a human part here, a human, uh, a human being, a family, who served the community very well. He's earned it. Um, the, 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 the guidelines are there. I would expect that they will be respected. Meredith was appointed by Stephen Harper in 2010, so he's served in the Senate for more than six years. As of last December, that means he's entitled to receive his pension. Sources say the Treasury Board is looking into the rules, adding you can't strip people of their pension just because you don't like them. Hannah Thibodeau, CBC News, Ottawa.